Hee Hee 12. 1 out of 10. There's really not much I can say about this map. First level is a parkour section and bots going up ahead and spawning tanks right behind me. I'm off to a great start. Just run to the safe room. There's going to be a whore that spawns somewhere. They're going to spawn randomly on the level. Also, there is a chance that a tank will spawn ahead of you and special affected around the safe room including a tank in the safe room. This level was pretty short. Second level is to find the safe room in the fog. There's no scripted special infected or tanks in that matter. Just a couple of hordes, that's it, and you'll get lost. Third level is filled with nonsense and bullshit. The bots just run up ahead and bump into witches, and it's painful to watch them do that. First door spawns four witches and one tank. Second door spawns two smokers, a boomer, and two tanks. Door number three, one tank. Door four, a shit ton of witches, and the more you interact with the door, the more that spawn. Door five, a chance to get one or two jockeys, and they do respawn, only in that room. After that is the safe room. Throughout the level, zombies will spawn, and, and you will have a chance to get hordes. Level 4, just go from point A to point B, and maybe you'll get lost in some of the areas, that's it. Level 5, find and activate the generator to call to call someone over the radio to get the gate open to get this to get into the safe room but there's so many rooms you have to look through to tell you the truth i gave up looking for the generator and i said fuck this i killed myself so i would let the bots finish the level without doing any of the bullshit puzzles in this level i'm not going to waste my time looking through room after room after room to find a generator no fuck this level the finale is just a holdout nothing else it's boring and it's simple to beat i thought i'd just avoid talking about he 12 because there was nothing interesting or chaotic about it he he 13 2 out of 10 first level i basically get dropped off then get told to go all the way back in the forest to the back for what exactly i don't know then the safe room finally opens, and that, and that just made me mad. They could have dropped me off at the beginning of the level, and just travel to the safe room. But no, they told me to fuck off, go into the empty forest to find nothing, just to have the safe room open when I came back. Plus, I had to wait for the truck to land. It was poorly animated, just going up and down constantly for the intro. Fourth level is a parkour section with bullshit spawns. Jockeys will respawn and pounce on you to the point where you have to grab the ledge in order for them to die and wait for your teammates to revive you. At certain points, your items will disappear. This happens twice in the level. Level five, this level was very hard to navigate through because almost everything is white with no shadows. Not only that, a never-ending horde with special infected and limited supplies. Hee <laughs> hee. Or thing. 4 out of 10. First level is on rails again, with logs and zombies in the way which makes it worse. At least the tanks don't spawn within half a second of us leaving spawn. And whoever is the last one in spawn will basically get punched off the rails and die. Level 3 is a linear path with tanks spawning every now and then the finale is a holdout but but we had to hold out for a very very long time we thought the rescue vehicle already came because we killed so many tanks but it wasn't there even though we did look for it all over the level and it's a huge level we also thought the finale was broken but no we just needed to hold out he he 16 3 out of 10. Second level is a climbing section while having loading smokers that they send and can pull you off to your death. After reaching to the top, about 2 or 3 tanks that spawn near the safe room. That's a fucking dick move right there. Third level is just finding the safe room in the fog in the maze. I recommend removing the fog because the level looks much better without it and it makes it harder to navigate through. Fourth level is an easy level, but it fucks with your camera, whoever is the host. 
It points down your camera from afar and you have to fight a tank. It's going to be very difficult having to control your aim. Fifth level is the Spyro again with parkour, but you have to climb as well, so don't get punched. Level six, however, I would label as a gauntlet of parkour. There is enough time to kill all three of the tanks. If you choose to ignore them, just keep running. You're going to encounter another problem, which is zombies, and they will get in the way and slow you down. If you manage to deal with the tanks and zombies, next you have to deal with the scripted special affected and and the four tanks that spawn after you open the safe room. Level 7 is probably the hardest level in the map. In order to get to the safe room, we had to find tanks scattered around the level in the fog. Now these tanks were buttons for some reason. We had to find five of them. Keep in mind, this level is very huge, and it has no right being this large. Remembering the buttons can be very difficult. Every time we've activated a button, a ton of witches will spawn, and a couple of tanks as well. I did revisit the level without the fog, and it's worse because there's no lighting, and it's so fucking dark. PE17, <laughs> 3 out of 10. First level is just running to the safe room, and sure, the entire team makes it. There's some bullshit spawns. By like climbing down the ladder, it will spawn a tank on you and punch you off. Also, opening the safe room will spawn two tanks. Second level is the spiral, again, but it's dark. This time, make sure to kill every tank on the spiral, other, otherwise they follow you towards the safe room by falling off the cliff. When I entered and closed the safe room, about five to six tanks spawn right on top of me. That's some great A bullshit. The fourth level was tough. We had to kill maybe around 10 tanks in order, in order to get to the ladder. When we got to the ladder and started climbing, it would spawn a tank. Then near the top, it would spawn two jockeys and possibly kill you. After that, there's about eight tanks ahead that you have to kill, but they would respawn immediately. The tanks would just spawn again after dying, and even throwing a Molotov would help. Hee <laughs> hee. 18. 2 out of 10. Level 1 is filled with puzzles, parkour, and the spiral again, but very... But a, but a very small version of it, with no tanks. Next level was parkour. Very hard parkour. Platforms that slide you off. The average Left 4 Dead 2 player wouldn't be able to beat this nor the casual player. This is something I don't think the creator knows about. Third level. The third level is filling up the generator with gas cans scattered around the map. And every time you pick a gas can, a tank will spawn in the center next to the generator. Level five is another parkour level. That's it. The finale is a spiral. It's easy. Hee <laughs> hee 19. One out of 10. There's only two levels I can only talk about because the others were pretty easy to beat. First level is running away from tanks through the maze with witches inside. After that, more tanks that spawn with zombies. Second level is a parkour section with witches blocking the way. Ehe 20. 4 out of 10. There's 20 levels. And you can only select up to 15. And there's no other way to access any level beyond 15. So that means you have to beat level 15 to get into 16 or do it through the console that's fucking gay i'm not sure why the creator th thought this was a good idea level one and two is ladder parkour three is a, a linear path with chargers and smokers spawning until you open the safe room door only to have five tanks in there five is the spiral with commons and their a real nuisance, especially near the end where they swarm you, and the map does cause some lag. Next level, the next level is also the spiral, but with no commons, and it's easy. 7 is a parkour section. 11 is the spiral again, but this time it the render distance is very short and I had no idea where I was going. Level 16 is ladder parkour with lifts that can throw you in the air. 
It didn't help that they were tanks throwing rocks at us, causing us to die. I wish to know, what happened between the events of Hee Hee 19 and 20? Where did he get this idea of ladder parkour from? Level 17 is an invisible wall maze with tanks that can be triggered in the maze. Level 20 is probably my favorite level out of the whole series. I know it sounds crazy, but it's not. There's some actual effort put into this. This actually feels like a solid map, but it's all packed into one level. This level was very long. I didn't really mind that as long as it's enjoyable. You can explore room to room and almost no bullshit happens. I wasn't forced to enter into a room and find a key or nothing of that sense really. It's basically up to you if you want to explore every room on the ship to see what they have in storage for you. Then comes the parkour section. And it's not very good because it's pixelated parkour that can be missed by a few inches. When you fall down, there's no way to get back up. And there's no checkpoints, which surprised me. This level is very long and you're not gonna put a checkpoint? You must be out of your mind. Honestly, the parkour should have been removed for this level. After that, for some reason, all the tanks activated for the rest of the level, which means tanks that were far away were triggered. It might be a glitch yet again. I think it was on purpose. Anyways, fight your way through hordes and witches, then comes the finale, which was a gauntlet. Really? Why? Hee <laughs> hee 21. 2 out of 10. Level 2 is an obstacle level. Just rush to the center of the building that has arrows on it. The hunters here are tanks. I don't know why. Level 3, the spiral with some obstacles in the way. Level 4, I wouldn't say it's a large level. I'd say it's pretty decent size. And a boss fight that can one shot you. Level 5 is a gauntlet. Don't stay and hold out. You're just gonna make it worse just by standing there. Special infected keep spawning, especially the boomers. After that, tanks will spawn. I mean, a lot of them will spawn. It's already bad enough we had to rush through the bullshit of boomers exploding in our faces every other second just to have a bunch of tanks spawn right behind us. Hee <laughs> hee, 22, 2 out of 10. The second level is by far the easiest level in the entire series. Let me explain. We were meant to do something on this level. That's why the door was blocked, but the bots kept teleporting through the door, so we had an idea. Let's go idle so we can do the same, and it worked. We didn't need to do anything. Levels 3 and 4 are just, just walk from point A to point B. It's very calm, to say the least. You, you can choose to do the Hee Hee 23 if you like. I thought Hee Hee 23 was disguised as Hee Hee 3 because this is this is Hee Hee 3 version 1. You can choose to go back and play the original. I recommend just playing the new one. This is Hee Hee 23 apparently. It's a huge disappointment. I played it anyways. It's, it's the same as Hee Hee 3. Hee Hee 24. Last Hee Hee on the list. 3 out of 10. Each one of these levels are very long and has no right being this long. Anyways, the first level is fucking dark. I don't know if there was supposed to be fog or not. It's on rails, again at least. There is a weird gimmick where the water rises to the point where we can't even see the rails anymore and we have to stay put. If we choose to continue when the water rises, there is a chance we fall off to the ledge. We would always find ourselves out of ammo due to the lack of ammo piles. No, there wasn't any crazy tanks. There's only two at certain spots. Next level is level two. It takes you down to an elevator, to a parkour section, then expected to run to the next area to be teleported to be killed. Fucking awesome. Third level, the objective is just to run and don't waste any time. The longer you stay, the worse it gets. If I never ending horde midway into the level, the finale is paying a visit to the Hiki quarters. Honestly, I couldn't give two shits where we are. I just want to complete this map. I didn't bother exploring the beginning of the level, and I just activated the event. And it's a gauntlet. 
Fight your way through the never-ending horde to the chopper. At this point I was just face bombing with disappointment because this is the last level of the map series. I expected something really good, but ended up feeling unsatisfied with that ending. That is all of them. All 24 maps. I did all of them so you don't have to. The Hee Hee series gets a final rating of a 3 out of 10. It could be a 2 or even a 1 out of 10 if you play this by yourself. I really don't understand why would you do that to yourself in the first place. Anyways, I don't recommend this to anybody at all, not even to those who are looking for a challenge. If you're planning on playing this series, make sure that the difficulty doesn't go above normal, and it should stay on normal. And it's recommended that you have a full squad or at least two other people with you. You really don't want to do this on your own, you will hit a brick wall. Trust me, I've been there. This whole series does not deserve a score higher than 3. It is not the worst series, but it is probably the most difficult map series you'll ever play on Left 4 Dead 2. I don't think I could find anything else that is more difficult than the Hee Hee series. In fact, avoid this series entirely. I'm serious, I've spent 42 hours playing this and I wish I could get those hours back. You could literally do anything with that time and I would label that more productive than playing this shit. I'm not joking when I say that. Hell, you're best off playing another game entirely instead of this. I think I would rather play Hunt Down the Freeman over the Hee Hee series. That just shows you that this is a complete waste of your time. If this video doesn't convince you to avoid the Hee Hee series, then I don't know what will. And if they make Hee Hee 25, I swear to God, I'm gonna fucking lose it. They actually made Hee Hee 23. Before it was just Hee Hee 3 version 0.1, that replaced Hee Hee 23, but now it's finally here. 25 fucking maps. I thought they were just gonna stop after Hee Hee 24. But no, they just had to make one more during the editing of this script. Hee Hee 23. 1 out of 10. The beginning of the first level, they give you tier 2 weapons for the events. First event summons a horde. The second will cause a tank to spawn. Third is waiting for the gate to rise up and during that you will have to fight two tanks when you reach to the storage room you have to find a id card filled with fire barrels scattered around the room and the id card is not highlighted so good luck finding it believe me you don't want any of the bots with you in this part of the level after that you have to dodge lasers and jimmy gibbs stock car from hitting you. Then activate the elevator which spawns a tank inside of the elevator. Level 2 is traveling through the building with hordes every now and then. When reaching outside you have to activate a button that spawns 4 tanks nearby. Then go down to the sewer to fight through a never ending horde with special infected. Level 3 is to find the ID card again but it's more easy than level 1. Then travel to the finale to hold out. When the rescue vehicle comes, make sure you're out of the room where the ammo is, otherwise you'll get downed by the explosion. When you get to the rescue, you have to climb on it. Then keep holding W until you fall to your death. This is what happened to me. I was confused. I thought this bugged out, but no. Only one survivor is allowed to escape. By one, I mean the last survivor. The bots had no idea how to get on and just stood there waiting to die. This map fucking sucks.